Hello again. This is Thea Owens with Folk Art Fusion. I am showing you today our Take and Bake Kit cookies. So Folk Art Fusion has an excellent line of totally powered protein-based cookies um, that come in a variety of flavors and you can also order them if we are going to be making them for you in a variety of forms. So what I'm going to be showing you today is um, how to assemble the cookie dough and then what kind of different things that you can do with it at home. So we're going to be starting with an eggs. Now what makes our cookies a little bit different as far as the take and bake is that the process of them is a little different. So we're going to start with eggs. Each batch of cookies requires four eggs. So that's not as many as the bread and, um, and cakes that we make. So we're going to start by beating up four eggs. We're just going to beat it real good so that it's well mixed and it's all broken down. Then we're going to take four ounces of fat-free cream cheese and we're just going to put that in there too and then we're going to break that up as well. broken down and the the kit contains a powder now honestly this makes about 24 to 30 cookies so these are pretty big uh, kits and it makes quite a bit and the directions are always included so what we have today is a peanut butter based uh, cookie dough which really has um, all of our nut flowers in it and it's also got some little pieces of peanut in it, some actual peanuts that are uh, chopped up and put in here as well. Um, but we also have um, just a regular vanilla cookie base and then you can stir in any ideas that you have or anything else that you might want to do. So for the peanut butter you're going to need a cup of peanut butter, um, you're going to need a tablespoon of vanilla, you're going to need a fourth of a cup of heavy cream, uh, a fourth of a cup of coconut oil, and then any additional extracts that you would like to add. So all of the dry, the, all of the wet ingredients has to go into our eggs and our cream cheese. So we're gonna be adding that now. And then we're gonna mix it together. Now I've put all this together and melted it with my peanut butter so it's just in a nice uh, paste here. And then we're going to be making kind of a syrupy like batter and then we'll add the dry ingredients to it after. your mixer away or uh, stop at a certain point. So once again, we're going to be taking the dry ingredients. We're going to be cutting the bag open and we dump it into a bowl and we're going to whisk it just to make sure that all of the dry ingredients is thoroughly combined and kind of break down in pieces. And at this point, if you have anything wet, that you want to mix in with your into your cookie dough, you're gonna put it into the wet right now. Anything that you have that's dry that you wanna mix into your cookie dough, you wanna add some cinnamon, you wanna add more nuts, you wanna add some dried fruit, chocolate chips. This is when you would do that now as well because once you combine these together, it's pretty hard to get anything to blend very well. So you can start with the mixer, but once it starts to get thick, you gotta stop and start using a spoon instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this tapped in here, and then I'll show you the finished result of the cookie dough so that we can take the next step. Sit tight. Okay, so 
When making this cookie dough, you're going to want to resist the urge to uh, hold back some flour. Because as it starts to get thick, you go, oh, I, this is getting too thick. It's too thick. Something's wrong. No. You want to keep adding all of the flour that's in the mix, in the, that's included in the kit, because it's going to make the dough more pliable. If you shorten on the dough, not only is it going to mess up the leavening agents, but it's also going to make the dough very, very sticky and hard to work with. So what I have got now is a nice dough. I'm going to put some gloves on here. And we're going to play with cookie dough. Now everybody's had the traditional peanut butter cookies. Um, and that is where we're going to take um, a tablespoon of the cookie dough. We're going to roll it into a ball. And it looks like that. And then you can, uh, you know, you can take a, a fork and everybody remembers these cookies just like that. And then you can just throw them in the oven and bake them just like so. However, today I am going to be, save that for later, <laughs> I am going to be making um, some cookie bars with it. So what I'm gonna do is take two tablespoons of my cookie dough and I'm gonna put it into these bars, into my um, into my molds. And just two nice rounded scoops. And I really love this cookie dough formula that we developed because it is so very pliable. You can do just about anything with it. You can make it into a crust for something. You can um, roll it out and uh, stuff them with fillings. Because again, it works really nicely. So, but today we are going to be making cookie bars. And I've got a really great uh, drizzle, a chocolate peanut butter drizzle that I'm gonna be crossing over these that is just out of this world. So, I'm gonna set that aside. So I'm going to take my cookie dough, see, and I've got it kind of all scooped out into my trays, and I'm gonna be press, I'm just gonna press it down into it. Now what's really, good, what else is really great about these cookies, is the cookie dough, is that it doesn't take very long to bake. So 10 minutes and these are done as well. And you don't wanna overcook these, because um, they can, you know, burn just like any other cookies right <laughs> so I'm going to press these out into my mold and then these we're going to throw in the oven and bake now another thing that we can do is take the cookie dough I'm going to show you, this makes quite a bit as you can see. And we just roll it out. You want to get reach the desired level of thickness. And then we just take a cookie cutter and we just punch it out. spatula is easier to pick these up with. And it's a little flower shape. <laughs> so in any event, that is our faux carb cookie demonstration. So we're going to get these baked and then once everything is all finished, we will post to the Facebook page. And again, these cookies are also part of our Friday special for our uh, Faux Carb Fusion Take and Bake Kits uh, for the uh, Faux Carb Fusion Frenzy Fridays for the two for one. So this is Thea Owen signing off saying thank you very much for joining us and have a fabulous Faux Carb Day.